Yo. Yeah. We're back at it, man. Back at it. What's going on, guys? Hope you're doing great. I know I always say that, but I truly yeah, mean do. that. I truly, truly mean it because it's all about positivity. A positive mindset exudes a positive life. Even uh, though challenges are going to happen, we know that. All but right. Love you guys. So I don't know if this is an interview or, she, <clears throat> or, or um, Maria is just talking about it. Artiromo. Mm-hmm. So it's incompetent. Trump reveals cabinet appointment regrets. I really like her. I've been seeing her a lot lately, and I need to start really zooming into her while talking about futures. I'm interested. Just I like her reporting style. What is futures? It's a form of investment, like okay. um, your stocks. Oh, okay, that's what I thought I saw. Yeah, I'm not into futures. That's why I'm curious to know. What it, what it yeah, what it really like how what she talks about how she. Sunday morning. I think Tim Scott, Kara Lake, Vivek. members too. Actually, see, uh, who, who that? Well, I don't want to mention that. I think I can't. Do you see yourself perhaps with a senator, Tim Scott? I think he's a very good guy. We did Opportunity Zones together. It's uh, never been talked about. It's one of the most successful economic development things ever done in this country. Okay. And Tim is very good. I mean, I, I could see Tim doing something with the administration, <laughs> but uh, he's in right now campaigning. And I'm sure Tim and everybody else would say, I'm only interested in one. But Tim's a talented guy, and uh, you have other very talented people. Do you have a plan to get independents look, look. and suburban women to believe that your policies will make their lives yeah, better? It's called safety. It's called the border. It's called the strong <laughs> military. Right. It's called low taxes and low interest rates so you can buy a home. It's called keeping low-income housing out of the neighborhood of somebody that's very proud of their house in Westchester, New York, and they don't want to see their house value crash. Exactly. I remember there was a, a, a video we watched and somebody put out that what? they were talking about, you know, how uh, what's my basketball guy's name? and His wife. Oh, man. Light skinned guy. Steph Kerr. Yes. How he, how they were like, no, no. Coming up with petitions and everything about not having them uh, building, talking about building, building a wall or something, you know, to separate them because they were going to be building, you know, properties so close to their home i'm like absolutely not and i don't mm. think it was you know high income properties i'm like how in the world you know no absolutely not i don't think so I, like he said it's going to lower the property value oh, these people the yards. spend That's a lot Steph of money Curry house. you know people spend a lot of money to have their homes in areas where the property value is high and it's going to continue to increase exactly and where you feel safe and it's other like minded and certain quality. True. And um, other people when they're on that level, they don't worry about trying to come to your house. And they care about their, their community. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> which I did previously. But it's really about safety and it's about low taxes and it's about not going into ridiculous wars. You would have never had the war with Ukraine and Russia had I been involved. Yes. You would have never had this talk with China going into Taiwan just wouldn't have happened. It di and it didn't happen. Actually, even the Democrats say, well, whatever you want to say about him, it wouldn't have happened. Do you believe Joe Biden will be the Democrat candidate in 2024? I guess so. I mean, look, I watch him and I, I listen to him and you sort of hold your breath and you say, is he going to finish the sentence? <laughs> you, you, I don't know. I guess he is. He's, he's, look, they have a Democrat machine. They have a lot of votes that are automatic to a Democrat, even though they shouldn't be. Mm. Normally, you'd say they have the union votes, but I think I have a lot of union votes, too. I get tremendous in the car industry. I'm far better than the Democrats. So, and I said to everybody, you're losing your industry. It's all moving to Mexico and to China. And I think the workers vote for me. I think they'll vote for me much more than the union leaders who are indoctrinated into the Democrat Party. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I think that uh, Biden will probably be the candidate, if he can make it. Well, the Democrats don't want to do debates. Uh, I know Marianne Williamson and RFK Jr. want to debate. Um, what do you think about that? Well, I, I understand why he doesn't want to do it. I mean, I, I truly understand why he doesn't want to do it. But they are, you know, there's a big difference. Although, uh, in the case of RFK, I've seen polls where he's at 20 percent. That's not bad. But I understand why he doesn't want to do it. Look, when you're running for office and you have in his case, let's say he has a 30 or 40 point lead. Why would he do it? Now, uh, people are going to say, well, he can't do it. I actually think he can't do it, if you want to know the truth. I don't think he's capable of doing it. Mm. But why would he do it? Especially because of that, why would he do it? If he's got a 30 or 40 point lead, which is what he's got, uh, I mean, I don't think RFK expects that he's going to be debating. He's a very smart guy, by the way. I don't think he expects to be debating Biden. 
You've spent time with him, RFK. Tell me about I him. I have. He, is he a formidable com competitor? He's a very smart person, yeah. I know a lot of the members of that family, and, you know, he's a very smart guy. And uh, he's hit a little bit of a nerve. I think he really has. And a lot of Democrats I know want to vote for him. But again, if he's at 20 percent and if uh, Biden has a big lead, number one, Biden can't debate him because he's not capable. Mm -hmm. And number two, why would he debate him for that reason? But also, why would he debate him if he's probably got it locked up? I don't see RFK Jr. I don't see him getting the nomination under any circumstances. If there's anything that you could look back on yeah. in 16 that you think maybe you want to do differently this time around. Well, the mistakes would be that a lot of people, for instance, say you should have been softer. This, But I was under siege no, by people that, that were very dishonest. I, if I was soft, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Believe That's me, right. I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been able to finish out one of the most successful terms as president mm -hmm. to a point where it was so successful that I'm leading by 50 points right now. You know, I mean, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, the, the mistake would be people. I mean, I wouldn't have put a guy like Bill Barr in. He was weak and pathetic. I wouldn't have put uh, Jeff Sessions in. Uh, there are... <laughs> He's saying it. I mean, you know, no, this is the Trump that I have grown to like and get to know. Yeah. He's a no-nonsense guy. Yeah. He's going to say it. You know, and I've had to, you know, under, I understand it's, it's got more coot than style than it did previously yeah but I, I mean i like tell tell the truth like it is we, we need to hear it we do need to hear we need it, to hear but it. I love it now I love more it. than ever you can be honest with you i get um a lot of comfort in his honesty and his um transparency and his transparency I mean, it makes me it makes me more comfortable yeah say it some people that i wouldn't have put in you know most people were good but I had some people, uh, we had uh, Esper, I didn't like him. He was incompetent, I thought. We had other people I didn't like. Why did you put them in the job then? Uh, because every, look, every president, you put somebody in, you think they're good. But one thing that has happened, and I, I find it very interesting, and this is the way life goes, I put people in, I was there 17 times in Washington, D.C., in my whole life. Wow. <laughs> okay, wow. I never 17. stayed overnight. The press actually reported 17. I don't know if it's right, but it's probably pretty right. <laughs> uh, I never wow. stayed overnight, ever. And then, all of a sudden, I'm the president of the United States. And it's like a different society. I was New York, and, you know, it was a different thing. So I didn't know people. I became president. I'm riding down Pennsylvania Avenue with our first lady. I had 250 motorcycles. I had armies. I had everything. I said, do you believe it? We're president. Take a look. This is wild right but i never was involved in that and so you didn't know what to expect no no I, well i didn't know the people right i know the people now better than anybody's ever known the people i, I know the good ones the bad ones the dumb ones the smart ones i well, think you, the you didn't drain ones. the swamp like you said you would you didn't drain the swamp i did i fired comey i fired a lot of people a lot of the people i had i fired i i fired comey very early and you know there was a question as to whether or not you, you sure could did. But I fired Comey. I if I didn't that. fire Comey, I don't think I would have been able to serve out my term mm. because that was a plot. And, you know, these other guys that are running, they think, oh, well, you know, they're going to go nice and smooth. No, they'll create phony stories on them. They'll create their own Russia, Russia, Russia. These people are sick. Guys like Adam Schiff, he's a sick person. I mean, he's really a sick person. They make things up, and then you have to spend time uh, getting out of it. They do it yes. now. But he may become yes, a senator. That's right. They make up the stuff and then want him. Now, now you've got to prove yourself right. All this crap. I mean, I just, I know he was just like the business world. Yeah. He's <laughs> not like this. No. No. You don't have all, you don't have all that all the little kids chattering. And I mean, I know you got politics and business, of course, but still. No, it's different. Different yeah. world. Different. Yeah. It's a different world. Where he may become, from? isn't that a crazy thing? Well, maybe not. He's running against some people that are much better than him. He's a sick person. He made up a thing on Russia, 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 and Ukraine, where he actually talked about my call with President Zelensky. He didn't know we had the call taped. Fortunately, it was taped. And he made up a, a speech. He made a speech in Congress about what my call was, where he was actually reading the speech of what I said. And then when I released it, I said, you know, we happen to have a tape of that. Wow. It was a total lie. I said he ought to be prosecuted for what he did. Mm. But when you go to Congress, believe it or not, you can say anything you want. You don't get prosecuted and you can't get sued. 
and I think it's terrible. But, you know, this guy's got, I mean, he's, he's very sick people. Look, if they would use their evil genius to make America great again, it would be great. There you I'm go. Steve Ducey. I'm That's Brian Kilby. Quote. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox. That's it. Mm. <clears throat> if they would use their evil genius. To make America great again, it would, it would be, be great. great. Would be and great. that's the crazy crazy thing. Slime. Yeah. Slimy policy. Yeah. And I like the fact and how he can be so no nonsense to me and really can see and have discernment is because he's not, like he said, he was only there 17 times. These ain't his folks to wow. really go and hang out with. He got his own crew of people that I'm sure prior to coming in presidency and people that he has befriended and said, he's, you know, he's got to get in there and do his thing. Yeah. But that man stayed there. He said 17 I'm, times. He, said, so he yeah, didn't I got, sleep. Mm -mm, he got there. Go he back like, to Mar-a-Lago or wherever it is. Did, so was he flying back to Florida or was he fly back to New York? Wherever he was, it wasn't there. He was like, man, I'm out. I get on this plane. Well, I did not know that. That's interesting. He was like, I don't need y'all. I don't need to sleep here. I really don't want to be here. The, the thing is, though, I like the fact of how she, I really like um, her reporting because she was like, no, you didn't clean the swamp. You said you was going to clean the swamp, you know, but she didn't like badger. Yeah. She just made a little statement and then he came in. But, you know, he said he came in firing Comey and I remember that. I remember. You know, I remember that. I had and people wear like, oh my God, look, yeah, he's just like, firing all these people. Exactly, but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes because these people must have been over from the previous um, administration. Right. Yeah. And if they're not going to join, you know, attached to the new mindset, like businesses shift, new companies buy old companies, things shift. Mm -hmm. If these employees can't get on to the new program, to the new mission statement and new value system, you got to go. Gotta Same go. thing. Gotta go. Let's go. All right. With that segue, like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose dive, but comment down the section below. We, we gotta go. Below. We'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Peace.